My brothers and sisters, may the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world. The good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one. And the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evildoers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. And then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's segment from Matthew's account of Jesus' teachings and preachings is one of those rare moments where an explanation is actually given. And of course, part of the reason that the uh, disciples wanted that kind of a clarification was that they didn't quite understand what was this issue about the weeds somehow being with the wheat, and if that's the case, how come they didn't just get rid of the weeds right away? And of course, Jesus suggests to them that only will happen in the end. And it really falls very much in line with the whole message of both the book of Exodus today and the psalm, that God in his mercy and in his kindness is slow to anger and is abounding in kindness and rich in mercy. And he allows each individual the option to make the choice in their life as to how they will live it. And he ends up giving them plenty of time to do so. Ultimately, of course, we're responsible for the choices that we make. But God doesn't automatically punish or condemn. We're told, for example, that the rain falls on the just and the unjust alike. And of course, the bottom line is, is that this world is, again, not paradise. This is the place where we have to make choices, and the choices we make mark us for a lifetime. Each day, as we make our own personal journeys of faith, of course, we hope that we are on the right path, that we are, in fact, that seed that is sown that is good, that we are the wheat that ends up producing much fruit, that we are the ones who are living out the message of the gospel. Sometimes we waver and flounder, much the same as the disciples did, much the same as the people of Israel did over and over again. And yet in each case, God continued in his mercy to give second, third, fourth, fifth chances. But at some point, the chances end, and that's what we have to prepare ourselves for. So let us pray that as we continue our own personal journeys, we always stay as much as possible to the right path and the right route, so that when finally that day comes, we will find ourselves also shining like the sun.